What do you want? I want you to take me to the place I saw when I touched this. Where'd you get that? I know that you were there. Who are you, kid? They followed you here? Who? John Francis Walker! You are now harboring a fugitive element. Release her to our custody. You have one minute to comply. Ooh. Intensity, that is Tomorrowland, coming out in theaters end of May. Matt McCall stars in this movie. Congratulations on this flick. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really excited. Yeah, and I can see why. Great cast, great momentum on this. And here's the thing I love about Tomorrowland. The idea of an original story. Disney production, but they're bringing an original story to the big screen, going up against all of these uh, proven franchises. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I, I think that... In Disney's mind, this could be a franchise, um, but they really wanted to do something that was original. Damon Lindelof is the writer of this. He's done Prometheus. He did Star Trek the sequel. Uh, he did Lost television series. So he's got some really cool concepts. And here's a guy, I think, that really wants to tell original stories as opposed to be drawn in into the writer's room of, OK, let's do the next Marvel film. Not that he wouldn't do that. Um, but uh, I think, you know, if you want to do a, an original story, go for somebody like that who's, who's really got a talent for that sort of uh, storytelling and a sort of a sci-fi bent as well, if, if that's the story you want to tell. And you get to play inside this adventure. And the interesting thing as well is the fact that it was hard to find a lot of details on the backstory for Tomorrowland. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is an interesting way to market. Uh, how do you prepare for this when you know original story, not too much out there, but the writers uh, have that credibility in the industry? Yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I think more and more these days in, in film and in television as well, just because of the proliferation of multimedia and information is everywhere it's um, becoming more and more common for productions to want to just tell everybody you're not allowed to talk about it and then when they go to pre-production to hire their actors they'll you know they'll send out their notes saying no information is to be released there, there won't be sides I just read for um, uh, a new movie uh, Star Trek is the is coming into town oh. and then when they'll give you sides uh, from the movie to to audition with but these sides weren't even from the movie they were from an entirely different show altogether so you're, you're ostensibly doing an audition for a different show being considered for this movie and so uh, to prepare for something like that because you don't have any information at all you're not given any background um, you just use your creativity and that's the beautiful thing about this job is that the less you know about what you're going into the more you can use your creativity to fill up that gap so uh, you start so you got to use creativity and above all confidence because you find out you get the role and then you realize Hugh Laurie and George Clooney are in the movie with you <laughs> when you are on set Not focused on that yeah <laughs> with someone like George Clooney how do you prepare yourself because obviously you want to bring your talents but then you're in front of the superstar does, does that shake you did uh, he did give you any advice and uh, uh, no advice I think just his 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 being was advice enough he uh, he's just a really genuine kind of guy and I think that that was really interesting to see um, it didn't really shake me to work with him some actors really want to put forth this this concept of uh, you know I'm I'm so and so I'm this big star all hail um, but no Clooney was not like that at all mr. mr. Clooney was not like that at all <laughs> yeah. he was just very you know very conversational very colloquial down-to-earth kind of guy he I remember the very first day he was walking up and you could see him from like 20 feet away and he looks exactly like George Clooney yeah. and we're like whoa we're all in awe and he comes right up to the group of us hi how's it going my name is George Clooney and we're like yeah we know so he's just the average dude on yeah set. and I was like hello my name is Matt and he said yeah I know yeah you know he, he had he knew who he was working with nice professional touch. yeah very very cool guy. Nice touch paying attention. And we should also point out Tomorrowland filmed in uh, eight different uh, cities across BC. This is, this is great for local production. Fantastic for local production. Yeah, we shot in, uh, we were in Vernon, we were in Burnaby, all different locations around Vancouver, amongst others. Yeah, this is, I think I had heard that it's one of the largest, if not the largest budget uh, production film ever to hit Vancouver. So that's fantastic for us, Vancouver. And actors. you get to be a part of it. Listen, congratulations on the success. May 22nd is when Tomorrowland is out in theaters. You're working on Eyes on. Be vendetta, lots to come from Matt McCall. This is only a taste, so as it all <laughs> unfolds, you got to keep coming back here. On hey YouTube. man, I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks so much, brother. Mr. McCall. Great yeah. to meet you. Cheers. Great to meet you.